All right, so how do you determine whether something is a load-bearing wall? There's a very simple rule of thumb that I learned from a, an older general contractor about how to determine this. To put it simply, a load-bearing wall is never going to run parallel, meaning in the same direction as the trusses. If there's trusses or supporting members above a wall, if they're running in the same direction as the wall, it's not load bearing. If it's running opposite the wall, like if it's perpendicular, it doesn't mean that it's a load bearing wall. But if the truss or structural thing ends on that wall, if the end of it is right above that wall, it's probably a load bearing wall because the structural things hold the weight at their ends. So if there's something in the middle, it's usually not. If it's at the ends, perpendicular to structural members like trusses, it's probably load bearing.